Charging speeds on smartphones have never been quite so big as in 2018. We have four Android smartphones running 9.0 Pi here, except for the Galaxy Note 9, all with quick charge capabilities in them, and they are insane. First, we have the Honor Magic 2 with 3,500 milliampere battery, which is slightly smaller than the Mate 20 Pro, its bigger brother with their parent company, Huawei. We have the OnePlus 6T with a 3,700 milliampere battery, which is their biggest one yet. Then we have the smallest one of the bunch, the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3 with a 3,200 milliampere battery, which is actually smaller than its predecessor. And we have the behemoth Galaxy Note 9 with a whopping 4,000 milliampere battery, which is their biggest to date. Now, all of them come with their respective chargers. The Huawei comes with a 40 watt charger which is the biggest so far we have a 20 watt charger for the oneplus 6t running on dash charge and we have an 18 watt charger for the xiaomi which is also quite impressive and the smallest one is the 15 watt charger bundled in with the galaxy note 9 now all of these phones are paired with a usb type c port and they are incredible so guys without further ado this is technic and let's go we're gonna start up with 0% guys. Now I had all of these phones off before, but plugging them all into the charge, um, the Magic 2 decided to boot up by itself. So I decided to turn them all on, get them at a relatively stable brightness on the display. And I've jumped into their battery mode. And after 15 minutes of use, you can see that the Magic 2 is already pulling away with 32, 33, 34. Okay, it just keeps going percentage on that we have the one plus 16 not far behind only three or four percent behind that and the Mi mix three just ahead of the one plus 60 actually right in the middle of the one plus 60 and the magic two but remember the mix three has a smaller battery than any of these phones so in theory it should go faster and it should actually go faster than the one plus 60 since it has a much smaller battery and a lower wattage power supply so with these phones, the Magic 2 has double the wattage power supply that the OnePlus 6T has, but it has a smaller battery and the OnePlus 6T is not far behind. Now the Note 9 is struggling over there, sitting at 38%, but guys, I must say I apologize. I forgot to change the resolution of the Note 9 and with the screen always displaying, it is running at 1440p where the others are only running at 1080p. Um, I have done a test after this video with the screen off and I'll give you those results at the end of this test. Uh, so we have the Magic 2 hitting almost 90% now after 15 minutes. Uh, Huawei have stated with their Mate 20, and it is the same as this with their Mate 20 Pro and the Magic 2, that it will get 70% in just 30 minutes. Now, this screen was on and it hit 70% in about 40 minutes, so I'm pretty sure in best conditions with the screen off, it could actually possibly hit that, which is incredible. That is for sure a record broken other than the SuperVook fast charger found on the Oppo Find X Lamborghini edition. Now, hitting 96% on the Magic 2, 93% on the OnePlus, 92% on the Mix, the OnePlus has overtaken the Mix 3, and the Note 9 is still only 50%. We're now just over an hour and 10 minutes. These phones have done brilliantly well. Well, the ones on the left anyway, except for the Note 9 over there. So the Magic 2 is about to clock in at one hour and 19 minutes, guys. That has hit 100%, that is impressive. The Mate 20 Pro did it in an hour and 10 minutes with a 4,200 milliampere battery. So it isn't completely impressive, um, but it is still really impressive. I'm sure if that screen's off, that will be closer to the hour mark. Now the OnePlus 60 just hit on an hour and 27 minutes. Once again, that should be around an hour and 20 with the screen turned off, but that's only eight minutes behind the, Mic the Magic 2. And then we have the Mix 3 hit 100% after just one hour and 33 minutes, only six minutes behind the OnePlus 6T. Though this is a smaller battery, you should have expected it to come closer to that one hour mark. The wattage is smaller and Xiaomi does not have the dash charging that OnePlus does, let alone the crazy supercharge that Huawei has with their Honor Magic 2. Now guys, the Note 9 is not even hitting 80% yet and we're bordering on that two hour mark. So I've hit 64 times fast forward on this just to speed straight through this Note 9. And guys, I must say, this has disappointed me the most since I was so hyped for this phone when it came out. I actually got really impatient and I had to do a few other different tasks with those other three phones. So I decided to pair the Note 9 along with its older brother, the S7 Edge, just to show us the times on the Note 9, just until it trickles into that 100% mark with its poor 15 watt charger on its mammoth 4000 milliampere battery. Now we're bordering on it, two hours and 38 minutes it is. Now guys, I must say with the screen off 
and 1080p, we actually got two hours there. So Magic 2, first place, one hour, 19 minutes. That is impressive to say the least, guys. That is one of the fastest phones in charging speeds on the planet. One plus 60, second place, not too far behind. One hour, 27 minutes, bigger battery life. That is incredible. We have the Mi Mix 3 in third place. Not too bad, but it is a small battery. And disappointingly, the Note 9 in last place. Two hours, 38 minutes, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, this is Technic.